Yeah. Our love for the game runs deep. Take my watch. You were the support of Let's Go. From the Banter Master. I'm this guy's first play now. To the Oversabi Gucci's. And to all fans who make the game unforgettable. Game on! Enjoy the rhythm of the game with Goldberg. Official beer of the Super Eagles. Welcome along everybody to Niger Game On. What a delight to have you join us on what is the quarterfinal preview. Nigeria and Angola. Of course, the two teams met before in the World Cup qualifying back in the day. And of course, Nigerians who uh, were still uh, very much involved in football back in 2006 would realize just how much that game meant to us uh, back uh, in that period of time. Nigeria, of course, played them three times. We've won only once. We've never played in the AFCON before, so it's a great time to uh, show our stuffing against the Southern African uh, country. Welcome along to Niger Game 1, powered by Goldberg. I've got the guys back in the house. The regular crew, uh, pretty much the same formation from two shows ago, so we don't change the lineup uh, very much indeed. Luckily, we're fine here on Monday, and there's also IBK Sports for what is going to be an interesting conversation for the next couple of minutes. If you've just joined us, you are welcome to Niger Game On. And if you've uh, joined us for the first time, we've been here for every single uh, day of the tournament, uh, just covering the Super Eagles, uh, bringing to you some of the biggest stories here on the podcast. And gentlemen, it's a pleasure to have you, uh, you know, on the show this morning. Um, very interesting uh, preview to what is a quarterfinal game and. You know, they say that once you get to the quarterfinal and you win the quarterfinal, <laughs> you start to think about the the things going forward, isn't mm. it? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> see, see, no man, see, you see, all along, as you were doing this intro, I had, I had, I had the idea in my mind to tell the story of why Senior Man didn't make the last episode. Right. Because you had everybody asking about him. So, ah, where's Senior Man? <laughs> where, give us that. Give us that story. Do you want to give us the story? From the horse's mouth. Should we? Should we should we should we, in, in, should we hide the dirty in, little? In, 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 you don't know, say you know, go come. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. So don't, 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 don't question my professionalism. <laughs> I'm, not, know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having that. This all question is, no, don't question that my professionalism. Do, they always call you. No, don't don't question my come. professionalism. I'll Sinewa. come, I'll come Sinewa. for you. And it's, 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 it's so, it's so, at 346 a.m. Why are you going to drop update 346 a.m. when nobody feels respond? Give you remedy. Because, because, because I was, I, I, I was in torture at that time. I was in, I was in real torture, you know, and, and, and I, and I tried, honestly, I tried, you know. Baba, you know, try I tried. That two tablets, you know, that, that question where I get from I you, did. that's it. Yeah. Question why again? Because I would have told you, I would have asked you. You said you took medication. I'm yeah. not asking which medication, but no medication, any brand name. It's fine. Right. No. You, so you never do events where you get ready stomach before? No, I've never. So, the, so I've the, never so, been so, that unfortunate. So I'll, I'll let the guys in on the inside, the inside story here. The gist is, um, as you'd expect, we have a WhatsApp group, right? And there's a there's a call time for everybody on the show. You know, getting here x amount of time, want to record. So on this particular episode, the last episode, we're recording very early in the morning, right? And you see what we have to go through to make sure that um, we give you a great show. So we're recording as early as seven o'clock in the morning, which means the call time is six o'clock. So any, um, everybody has slept the night before and like, you know, we have a complete cast, you know, Wally in the background. <laughs> everybody wakes up to it. By four, by three, <laughs> three thirty-seven precisely, right? Wally pull it up. <laughs> he drops the message and says, gentlemen, <laughs> I see, cannot make it. I swear. See, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not even making this thing up. As I wake up that morning, as I just first time <laughs> I check my phone, I, I see you. as I see in the <laughs> message, as I, I see, see in the message, call, call you be me from my screen, from my screen. So obviously that if you if you long press on the screen, mm -hmm. it, it will give you like a snapshot yeah. of the of the of the text. As I say, I say this message passed four lines. <laughs> I don't see the end. Say uh, senior man don't say no go I just say senior man no they come. <laughs> yes. I know read the message. He has pulled out. He, he has pulled out. Come. And you better say I'm not that day. So you better say you better say Madam be around. So you get. You know, it was, man, it was a nice. It was a nice evening. True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. It was a nice evening. My guy was like, you know what? These guys can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> He got the he got the wine and say, I've been running stomach. No, but I said, bro, you know how many episodes we must don't do. But um, notwithstanding, it is still uh, won the day because you know, congrats to Winnie because yeah. I'm giving their flowers now. Spot <laughs> on with the prediction, you know, about um was it Ivory was Coast. it Ivory Coast, right? Yeah. And guess yeah, what? What was, your, what was your thought process in that? <laughs> well, I was yeah, um, because I've seen I've seen it happen many times. You know, you see teams uh, you know get a second chance and 
You know, they almost self-motivate. It was the best game Ivory Coast have played in this tournament. Yeah. Even the first game they beat Guinea-Bissau, they didn't play that well. They played really well. And it's something I anticipated that, you know, these players realized that, you know, and it's been a real backlog of emotions. You know, I, when they lost 4-0 to, to Equatorial yeah. Guinea, it looked like it was a real meltdown. You know, their balls was battered with stones, bottles. You know, the fans were so frustrated. The host nation has never lost three games on the bounds. His history was on, was, you know, was about to be made. And it felt like, you know, they brought in a few former players, MS, MS Fed, Fai, they brought in uh, Guy Demel. These are players who played for the national team. And it felt like the players obviously are going to get to that point where they realize the responsibility on their hands. That's why I felt they probably gone and knocked Senegal out. And then I remember really the thought process was Nigeria and Morocco last time out. You know, nine points in the group gets mm. knocked out in the round of 16. Yeah. And Senegal were the only team with nine points in the group. It looked like something was brewing there and thankfully came through. But what I, saw, was your I, saw, I, saw, I saw myself supporting Ivory yeah. Coast. What was, your <laughs> top, I mean, what, what was your thought process when I, uh, Senegal scored? When, 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 when I saw Senegal score, I said, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I was Opening just... 10 minutes, baby performance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I was just um, thinking about the the timing of, you know, you missing the episode and still, you know, going viral on, on our social media. I have to give a big shout out to, um, I probably never get tired of doing all the guys on TikTok, right? Because, you know, I don't know how they, I don't know how, how they, how they have a likeness to you, but they, mm. once Ine is on the, on the display picture, they, they click, <laughs> but that's amazing. Speaking of stats, you've put us, uh, put us in a, a mood to read out the statistics. Now, um, every nation from the 2021 AFCON, right, uh, has been replaced in another for another in 2023 so what that basically means is that every team that made it to the quarterfinals at the AFCON in 2021 yeah right the eight teams that made it there are not here hmm. in this particular AFCON. wow it's never happened before never happened never. before oh. so that is an incredible uh, piece of statistics um so last time out you had senegal egypt you had morocco burkina faso equatorial guinea gambia cameroon and tunisia by the way someone said Finally, the only Nigerian who pronounced Cameroon properly. <laughs> yeah, and that was yeah. Eni, right? But I, but I also pronounced Cameroon yeah, properly, you know, right? Actually, but, you, you know, know. He's is a this, this Rufai and Nike. 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 They have Ooh. no idea. They came in room. When I, when I call nah. out, when I pronounce nah. our nah. bread, you nah. say nah. money nah. to my account. Nah. 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 colonize the country. No sense and immediate. How many of them they call Nigeria? No, Nigeria is in Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria. But that's actually true. That's actually true, right? No sense and immediate. But speaking of that stats, right? This year's AFCON quarterfinals, of course, has Nigeria, DR Congo, Angola, South Africa, Mali, Cape Verde, Guinea, and Ivory Coast. Now, that is an incredible statistic, isn't wow. it? What does that say about the, the complete change in guard, if you like? It's yeah. almost like a, a revolving door. You know, your Senegal's are not there. I feel for Senegal because I thought they, they... I don't think they played badly, but, you know, in football... Anything can happen, isn't it? Yeah. Once it gets to penalties, it's nobody's game. And Senegal, I don't think they would be disappointed that much. I, I, you know, for for once, they lost some penalties, and and the only player who was really really feeling the pain was Niakate, yeah, I mean, yeah, the guy yeah, who, yeah. who missed the penalty. Because everybody felt, and I understood, you know, for for some silly reasons, I was like, the guy in his mind will be thinking. Uh, you people are not crying. I mean, you people won the last one. I was not there. You know, I felt for him really. But in 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 fairness to Senegal, I thought they played really well. Africans raised their game. You know, yeah. after they considered the goal, they raised their game. You know, they started you know moving the ball faster. They you know the manager made some changes. He dropped Frank Kessie, which I thought was a very brave decision. He was he's been one of their better players in this tournament. And in in the end. You know, if you are Senegal, I don't think you'll be worried so much because, you know, Mane, Koulibaly, maybe Mendy uh, are three players that, you know, you probably doubt their, their participation in the next AFCON. But the rest of the squad, young, exciting, yeah. you know, really energetic players. And you would think that their future is in good hands, you know, yeah. as a team, the future is in good hands. You're looking at Lamy Kamara in midfield, Matasai. looking at uh, Pap Matasai in midfield, yeah. you're like, how do you beat these two boys? You know, the energy in that midfield, you know, and Idrissa Ganage, yeah, one yeah. of the old guard as well. You know, so they can gradually face the big guys out of the team 
and they won't be worried one bit. Yeah. You know, you're having people like Nicholas Jackson off the bench. They've got a great group of players. So I don't think they'll be worried that much. I, I don't think because I feel they come back in the Nations Cup in two years and probably be one of the favorites again. Well, I've seen too many games already at this afternoon. I can tell you that I think a lot of a lot of guys that have progressed are more like the patient guys. You know, I said it here one time that if you look at most of these teams, just like Ivory Coast, they didn't take the game to Senegal. The way they started, they were they were very patient. They knew that okay these guys will obviously play. They will, you no, know, as you did do, patient. If Senegal scored no, three no, 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 no. It's, it, it, no it, 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 it has worked. <laughs> it has worked at this current half. Mm. Go and check it. The same thing with South Africa against Morocco. They were very, you, you, they were very patient with their play. The, you can be hopeful that you don't concede at that moment. But as long as you can, you can hold your own. Like okay, we know that we are going to get our chances. How are we going to convert it? How are we going to score it? Just like we'll be complaining about the Spigos of Nigeria. We've been patient enough against opposition. Don't take the game to them. Try and be calm. Try and hold the ball well. Try and conserve energy and the rest. So in the end, it's more of, you know how, and the weather as well, uh, you know, hasn't helped because <laughs> by the time you start pressuring your opposition, you, you start getting tired. That's why second half football, I think we've seen most goals in this tournament, I think in the second half. So, it's another idea that which is, which is counterintuitive to to the weather. Uh, yes, analysis. yes. You know, you get tired in the end. So if you are patient enough, and if I, if I'm patient now, I'm sure he's been listening to me. That's why he's been you know <laughs> following up with the OT. You just let's just let's just take it. Calm. I have just one question for it, you. I, yeah. How does how does Pesera and Pep end up in the same in the same line? You know, you know, winnings. You know, when when you start winning games comfortably, when when you are confident going into games. You know, you know, you know, you know how criminal that No, when you are confident. I made. You know how criminal that statement was. Aside from mentioning Pesero and Pep in the same sentence, you wanted to credit Pesero for being very pragmatic and sitting back, and then you credit him. Mean, no, no, back. no. In terms of winning games as well, going into On games. Every, no, no, it's a joke. Go, you, don't, go, you don't need to explain you, it. Going into <laughs> games. <laughs> going into games are your confidence. Okay, it's a joke. Baba, you don't, don't forget. You, 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 you don't need to explain it. it. Speaking of stats, right? Uh, I got accused that um, I give you the best stats. So here is one for you, IBK, right? Um, <laughs> look, the five highest African ranked teams, uh, according yeah. to FIFA. Out of the tournament, right? Uh, guess who? Morocco, Senegal, and Tunisia, four are North Algeria, and Egypt. What does that say about four are North Africa? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What, what does that say about the the tournament? You know, from a from a regional perspective, you know, the Western African countries obviously is, is does the home thing come into question? Because I get the sense that you know the Mali's, the Burkina Faso's, the Nigerias, your Cameroons, your Senegal's, is is there a bit more feel at home factor? you know, playing Cote d'Ivoire, um, because I see the argument being peddled that, um, you know, the North African teams are maybe yeah. not as... as no, for, 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 Algeria, not. for Algeria, since they won their last AFCON, I think they've been struggling. So I really don't think it's something that surprised me. Although they should they should have easily, you know, come out of that group. Why for Tunisia? I, I Obviously, I, I don't think Tunisia are one of the favorites to win the AFCON. I think the surprising one is Morocco and Egypt. Egypt in the sense that they didn't even win any game, you know. And like I was saying, the weather might be a factor. Mm. You already said I shouldn't make excuses, but I feel that the weather might be a factor. Someone was saying, someone was saying, first five weather. minutes, you're already soaked up. The weather is not excuse anything. Now, Rufai, Rufai, just, Rufai, it, let me give you an just, example it, it, of why the weather like is a factor. Sorry, hold on. Let me give you an example because I, I was, I'm into Jesse, so I know Jesse's technology a lot. And the truth is that by the time you start sweating, it adds to your weight. So it, you you become heavier than 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 you should. True. So in the end, you ask yourself, how many opponents of these... they wear the same just <laughs> My brother, I think they, I think they're not cutting. <laughs> the opponents no, they wear no. linen. I mean, they don't. Even, I don't understand because the opponents wear the same just no, no, I mean, no. look. So you know because you know we're, 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 we're talking I mean, about. We're talking about. You didn't play a great jerseys. The ones that yes, now, you now, go, now, <laughs> now, now, no, 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 no. We have the player grade. We have the fans grade. Now right. the player grade is it has sort of nets where your sweat comes out and yeah. it's it's like there's it's the, the point it I'm trying is, to make is, is I'm, I'm, I'm not this compared, what, 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 compared to compared to the fans grade that yeah. it will soak the, the it, there's no there's no way out. What I'm it, saying so. is so a lot of the countries the jerseys are made by. The best company, the best yeah. company, you know, yeah. your Nike, all of your, these factored your Adidas, your Pumas. No, what, you know, I'm, what, what I'm saying your is, Kappas, what, what, everybody. What I'm saying is, maybe North African teams are not used to this, this, this sort of weather. Right, right. Yeah, I, it's, I don't it's, agree. It's, I don't yeah, agree. It's, it's, it's an argument Amy. with uh, because with the North African teams, you mm. know, with with the North African team, a lot of their players play in 
in their country. You yeah. know, Algeria, well, not Algeria, maybe Egypt have a call of their squad in their country. Zamalek, Alakli, Pyramids. Uh, Tunisia. Uh, Tunisia, the yeah. same thing. But Algeria and Morocco, not, not the same because... Yeah. A lot of their players, ninety percent of their players, play in Europe. Yeah, yeah. So when when you say whether is the is a problem, I also feel like the West African countries, the East African countries, you know, the South African countries, they can say the same thing because a lot of their players play in Europe as well. Yeah, and they're used to the weather in Europe, yeah. exactly. which the you know. So when they come to, so it's actually very when, hot for them. Too. When yeah. they come to Africa to play yeah. an AFCON like in Africa's, it's the same thing. It so is. Like, it's, it's not an you, excuse you know, that makes any sense. Do you even know sense. what I think? Do you know, even know what I think? When Morocco beat uh, these guys 3-0, heat was not a problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or, or, see, it wasn't a problem. It wasn't. It was a give and go. Giving a give and go. They play one like this. Placing one into the bottom oh, corner. Oh, well, you know, know, brilliant sweat. football. South right Africa don't now. play one free kick now. Is it? <laughs> because I mean, I mean, in, in the end, right, what, what I think is, when you think about the, the heat and people, I've, I haven't heard a coach make that excuse. No, of course. Uh, so, 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 yeah, I don't think a coach. That shame, so, so, you can't be that shameless. You can't be that so, silly, so, 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 actually. So, 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 you can't be that shameless. Club have done that anyway. Yeah, Club probably have done that. I'm very sure. Club probably would have done that. For sure, for sure. When Club don't lose like this. Look, let's be honest. I think it comes from the media. Uh, I think that narrative comes from the media. You know, I don't want to say it comes from the the m m countries, you know, that we are talking about. But I just think that, you know, for some reason, it's an unwritten, you know, s narrative, you know. They keep pushing it around, you know. North African countries, and they say it all the time, North African countries struggle when the World Cup or when the Nations Cup is played in West, in West Africa. Africa. Mm. They say it all the time, you know. Not like they've come out expressly to say, oh, it's the weather. They just say that, you know, it's a subtle. It just, they don't just do well in this part. It's right. just like a narrative. They say Brazil don't win World Cup in Europe, you know, like bro, every so, time there's a so World Cup in Europe, Brazil struggles. All you the Africans so that have been won by North African teams, none of them have been in. Uh, we need to, to, to confirm to, that. 2004. Yeah, where, it, where was was that? it was Tunisia. It was Tunisia. That's was the only country. And, 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 and it's funny because the Morocco were in the final as well. I, I think right. Egypt, they've won seven, so I'm sure they will have won, won, won outside of yeah. I'm, outside I'm of very North sure. Of course. Right? Yeah. My own, but my the, own. Advantage of, the advantage of Egypt is that they, they, play, they play African football. I think there was a time most of their players play probably in... But these players in play in the Champions and, League. And, yeah, you know, the they, they dominate the, the Champions, League. Champions League. Yeah, they Conference dominate the Cup Confederation they Cup. They come, they come here and beat us. They come to Nigeria yeah, exactly. and beat our Canopy Pillars yeah. and our Ayin Bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's exactly the same what I'm saying. Weather. The real issue. So it look cannot at be that story. Look at Egypt. Group look, performance wise. Right. Play any, right. But Egypt Play, said I, no I just think we have to admit that this tournament has, has shown that. Uh, you know, some of these countries are not as good as we think they are. Quality wise, I, I, you know, I, I, that's not where they are. As, as a team, I think quality wise, every other person has right. gone. Because the Egyptian squad that won those three Afghans, you've got to think about them and the quality in that team. You know, they didn't have a Mo Salah, but they had a group of players who who could stitch things around. You know, Mohammed yeah, Hassan in true. midfield, you know. And they were so good. They were possessions. They, they played player. possession football. They, this Egyptian side don't have players who can control games, you yeah. know. They just have a Mosala who, you know, has got quality who, if you just need him to come through. But that Egyptian <laughs> side was so good. Same thing with the Moroccan side. And, and Morocco, someone talked about Morocco going to the World Cup as underdogs. You know, every time, every game they played, everyone expected them to be beaten. And that worked in their advantage. They've come to two Afghans now. They've been knocked out in the round of 16 twice. Why? Because they've come into those tournaments as, Fibre. you know, a highly ranked yeah. African team, you know, favorites to go on. Yeah. They played against Tanzania and they blew Tanzania out of the water. They played against Congo and Congo took them to the stretch, you know. They played against a, a team like South Africa that they didn't quite give so much credit to because I felt like they went into that game thinking South Africa is just a, a decent side we can if we keep it around. But if a team is ready to work hard, a team is ready to roll their sleeves and go with you for yeah. 90 minutes, no matter how good you are, if you are not winning the 50-50s, and every time we talk about 50-50, it feels like it's a cliche, but 
when team, a team is ready to, we're going to play for each other. We're going to work so hard. Yeah. And that's what South Africa did yesterday. It wasn't spectacular, you know, what South Africa did. And, and doesn't have to be. It doesn't I, have I, to I, be. I it just to needs yeah. to, you know, just now, now roll you your can, sleeves now, and now play. Now you can say this about South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Does, does, doesn't have to be. IBK. Now um, you can say this about South Africa. But of course, uh, <laughs> you know, speaking about respect, uh, it is one of the uh, important uh, things in football. You have to show respect to your position. But speaking of respect, uh, Goldberg, um, you know, show respect all the time. You know, to uh, all the football fans uh, supporting Super Eagles, and it's a pleasure to uh, have uh, them on the podcast for the entirety of the tournament. Goldberg, of course, are the official beer partners of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, and it's great to uh, walk this uh, tournament's journey with the entire uh, team here on the Hindsight Podcast. Goldberg, official beer of the Super Eagles. Gentlemen, let's get into the preview itself. We've uh, gone through some of the best statistics mm. um, that are available. But let's start off with that head-to-head statistics. And if you go back to 2006, where I, I was in, I remember where I was. I was in, <laughs> I was in secondary school and yeah. I felt so heartbroken at the time. Yeah. You know? And I've always still had a thing about against Angola since then. I just, <laughs> look, yeah. we haven't played them many times. They haven't been to major tournaments many times themselves. But I think that easily thing, remember that one. That easily. thing about Angola back in the day, easily, I, mean, I think yeah. I was in maybe maybe SS one or something like that. It just still hurt. And when you, I can't remember sorry, well. No, SS. I, 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 I was here. I want to slap you from here. I was. What dog says he did? He did. I was. So two thousand and six. It was. It was my second year in the university. Yeah. And. It was my second, second year. After, after, after and I, I was, jam I like it was five just, times. It was my third month on. I just, I just started media work. You know, I. Oh really? Yeah, I, I started media work in April two thousand six. So you was. So you was. So you was. You shake your elders. So you was. Next time your team will get. So, I still remember. You know, football. I don't think football is enjoyable as much as it used to be then because, you know. The one, money don't day now, everybody exactly. don't get DSTV and all of that. But we used to watch football in a public place. And I, I still cannot forget Fabrice Aqua. Guess what? I saw him in the stands in one of these Angola games. The guy who scored the winning goal yeah. against Nigeria, Fabrice Aqua, you know, nice guy. It was one new zero zero. Yeah, like yeah, that, he scored the one winning goal in, in Luanda. In, in Angola, know? yeah. So I, I still ah, God, I, I still remember watching that 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 game and you know, you know when Nigeria loses a game, you know the place turns to a graveyard. You know, viewing centers used to be viewing God, centers God, are God most enjoyable places you want to be when you are winning a football match. We just everybody just come on, just everybody they keep nobody they talk to anybody. If you if you ask anybody, ah, God, question, I was pain. It was it was painful. That was, second I thought, I thought football is not as interesting, right? Mm. You know, anything in life, what you the thief do, what you the hide do, you, <laughs> get, you know, yeah, it has extra pleasure. So. <laughs> You know how you have cake in your fridge, right? Mm. And maybe there's cake in the house back in the day. Uh, and as a kid, you go back to, you know, you open the fridge, just take small. You know, there's something about that. But <laughs> now as an adult, you go buy cake for free. You, you, and you, the cake can be yours for one, one week. And you won't, yeah. and you won't taste it. it. Yeah. 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 But you see that cake where we say, they say, don't touch it. You get one so garden egg sauce. You get high, go watch game. You get one garden egg sauce where my mom <laughs> did do that year. <laughs> with, they use with plantain, ripe, unripe plantain. Well, must you go to do that things very small like this? Give us a good idea. Why are you doing it small? Why are you doing it small? <laughs> One day I vex like this. I say, when I grow up, when I grow up, I will be eating this thing every day. But, but, that, but that's in our job because I mean, in, in the end, food, 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 food when you be on, they always sweet. No, if, they, if you say, I mean, carry two bees, they sweet. But by the time you buy them, finish. Wait, but you, know, you know that things have to last, yes, right? Yes, but, sir. but I mean, so Angola itself, right? They're not the. Have they ever won the AFCON? No, no, no never no. won it before, right? But when I watch them play at this tournament, I just sense that there, are, there is a there is a momentum they have. That's the mm. word I'm looking for. You know, momentum that many teams have not had. So obviously, think about Morocco for example, and they have quality, but they mm. never just got the momentum going after the three 0 win against Tanzania in the first game. They couldn't quite string it together. Egypt never got going. Ghana stop starts. Cote d'Ivoire. You know, you can see the momentum beginning to pick up. You know, the, the, win, the win in their sales, right? <laughs> the product of grace. <laughs> how, how, how dangerous can that be, Rufai, where mm. a team has got momentum and because that momentum is with them, everything they try works out. Gilson Dalla, you know, the, yeah. I, I watch him and I'm thinking, he feels like if he arrives in the box, he'll score a goal. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think um, um, 
with momentum, I think the biggest cre- the biggest co- uh, 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 benefit is, is, is confidence in the team. You know, everybody just plays with it, you know, with more confidence, you know, from from the goalkeeper right up there. And and the quality of goals they've scored, yeah, the quantity of goals they've scored, I think at the start of the tournament, you're pro- you, you, I think no- they scored nine goals so far. Yeah. yeah. And their record before this tournament was, I think, six goals. Six goals. In, ever in a single tournament. So so I think I think that alone they'll be thinking look we can go we can go against anyone and mm. score goals we can go against, and i think that's the that's the biggest maybe issue that the super eagles will face i don't think you face a team that will be scared of the super eagles at all mm. i think that's the biggest problem because i don't think you face boys. any team that will be scared of anybody in this country this uh, is where, where moose is talking yeah, like anybody yeah, yeah. anybody can collect in this See, tournament you, you still feel you still feel like before senegal got knocked out if anyone was going against senegal, yeah, of course you go still get something uh, that, that, before that, morocco got knocked out you know, if you're going against them, you still have that thing that, oh, Omo. Senegal was... I, think, I, I honestly, Senegal I, I, I honestly didn't think Morocco was that good. I, 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 I don't know why people yeah. felt like... I, think I watched, I watched our worried. first game. I was, uh, I was doing Angola TV. Be, I think they'll be worried. Mm. And um, that's because now you are, you are playing in Nigeria. Are they going to... You know, you are, you are playing more like a bigger side. So you expect them to bring the game to you. But their last four games, they've not done that to anyone. <laughs> So in the end, you are you are bringing similar tactics to what you want to do yourself. Yeah. So I think the coach will be looking at: uh, should we just take this game to Nigeria, or we should just play the same way? They I will guarantee play? you, they will take the game so, to Nigeria. So, so I guarantee you. We, and, and if they do that, I, I don't think anything good will come out of it for them. Uh, I look, look I, I, even I, I, if this, if what has happened at the Afcon so far is anything to go by, yeah, yeah. bros. If they pressure anybody, anybody if you buckle, no, of course, no, everybody no, no, are no. considered. I tell no, you no, what, no, I tell no, you what, no, with our compact. When, when I watch the Nigerian team, right, I think I can use the word, you know, accurately. The moment we switch to that five, that three at the back system, I don't see many teams creating chances against us. Yeah, right. Of course. Where, honestly, when, if you watch us, you feel like we're not interested in scoring goals. Yeah, right. <laughs> but on that two point five shot, you, you go back to that Chelsea, that Chelsea uh, team, the twenty, the Conte title winning team, mm. right, and the Thomas Tuchel Champions League winning team, right. When you set up that way, and you have two, three fast players up top, you, a shameless setup. You're, 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 you're going to win. I'm not a big team. I'm like, you're no going to win many games. It's right. a shameless no, no, it's, it's, a it's a shameless setup. It's, it's shameless. How? It's shameless. No, it's shameless. You How? Have to be. As a big team, you, you, you have oh, to. We no, rule no, the no, right. Maybe, a big no, no, shameless. No, no, shameless. No, shameless is the right word. Shameless could be the good way. Yeah, no, shameless. Shameless is not maybe the right word. I think the right word is humble. You know, you have to approach the game in a, in a, with humility. Because usually when you're a big team, yeah. everyone expects that you exactly. go on and <laughs> I blow still everyone. I agree. You know? Why I don't agree is that three are the, you can say, you can say as a big team, you're supposed to, you know, go on, go on, play on the front foot. But you can do that with anything. You can mm. do that with four four two. You so, can do that so, with four three two. So, so we, we, depending we on your football, ideology to the with game. club football, if Liverpool set up in a defensive mode against Man City, mm. it's not shameless. They do that against Bournemouth. It's shameless. No, I understand. You know, so that's the idea. I understand. And, 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 what and you guys to said to was you are talking formation mm. being shameless. Right. Yeah. Three four three can be attacking and yeah. can be defending. Yeah. But four four three can three, be attacking. Four, but three times, four three actually. But most you know, you know when three, three four three actually three four three when when you look at it from you know the perspective of the manager who, who who's approaching the game yeah is a very attacking formation you know yeah. if you've got wing backs who are very attacking flying, formation. flying down allows the wings, you to overload everywhere you know, you want exactly to. it's an attacking formation but if Percero is the one setting up you know he's <laughs> defensive you know he doesn't want to give a lot away and you you be you be said it there is since we started playing like that yeah teams are just finding it very hard to create chances against us we're keeping clean sheets, you know. We've kept three successive clean sheets, and that's one brilliant. Goal, just one goal that, considered. That so. is brilliant because it can build a, a sense of invincibility. No, you I, know, I, once, I have, once, I have, once players start to feel like we are not conceding, we are playing close to each other. You, I think you, you be made that point the 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 other time. They are playing close to each other. They are not, you know, they are not detached. You know, nobody's been isolated. You know, and and these players in isolation may not be so great you know but when you stitch a team they're close to each other they're defending f- for each other if some, someone makes a mistake somebody is there to cover up it's almost impossible to concede and that is what Pesero is building on and going against Angola 
are we going to play like that? You know, in 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 the end, so, <laughs> are we going to play like that? So Simon so, like says, that, so. Simon says, we haven't played our best football yet, mm. right? And maybe that you know buttresses. Who needs best football to win a tournament? Eh? Right. It's just a conversation. And, 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 and maybe that just unlocks the mentality in the team. You know, mm. where we haven't played our best football yet, but we're in the quarterfinals. If we can hit the next gear, we're potentially going to win the tournament. Because if you, when you look at the, the tournaments, the teams that have been knocked out and the teams that are now currently left, mm. it is easy to There's say a fair chance Nigeria. that Nigeria is. <laughs> the favorites yeah the tournament. of course right. of course we're the favorites yeah. from right. Ivory Coast we're, we're the favorites yeah, yeah sure we're the favorites when you have Ivory Coast ah. you have Cape Verde Cape Verde yeah. you have Mali and you have DR Congo and Angola we you to have be to be sure. the favorites so what it tells you now how, how, how does that affect because we've gone into games with very little expectation how does that now work where we've watched games without any real finite you know, this is what we're going to expect from the mm, game. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever happens, we'll take it. Now we expect to win, right? The last game, I, th- I still I still feel like people were, uh, whatever comes, we'll take it. You know, it's Cameroon, they have a good, good squad. Now we know that we're probably better than everybody in the tournament mm. and we have to win. Does that affect the players in, in the team going forward where, you know... No, I, I think I think it's only the media that is putting pressure on themselves. Um... <laughs> <laughs> when you hear when you hear Pesero talk, you know, and that's why I like coaches that really don't, they don't, they don't, they respect everyone. You know, this he, he knows that okay, you are playing Angola. What what are you expecting? We need to win. No, no, no. Now let's see them as contenders as well. And that's why I said it's going to be a big problem for Angola's coach because you are playing a a, a, a manager who, who who doesn't have shame. <laughs> Stop <laughs> using this manager no, no, no. Yeah, shit. No, 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 no. That, 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 set up to win my day. No, in the end, in the end. end. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> See what they do, walk. You say you don't get shame. <laughs> so make you get shame, don't lose. <laughs> not having shame is a bad thing. <laughs> Winning your football match as a coach is not a bad thing. I, I, I think for me, we are going into that game knowing fully well that the goal is to qualify. Mm. And I think that statement of we not playing our uh, best yet from Osimen. Maybe it's quite um maybe it was over excitement that you know after after beating Cameroon. I think like in he said, best game, as long as you are winning, you know, and you are progressing, I think that's that's why I, for me I call best game. So so, so I think yeah. I think I agree. I agree with Osimen. I also agree with IBK in a way. I agree with IBK in the sense that from here on out, eh, my I, I feel like this is when Pesero really does his best, really would have to do his best job mm. from here on out because, you know, drown out the noise from the outside. Yes, every every big team has been knocked out, but no, we are not we are not actively accepting this yeah. new title of yeah, yeah, favorites. favorites yeah. We are not. Mm. We are not accepting it. We are approaching every game the same way we have approached all these games. Mm. We are not accepting all of a sudden oh, we have arrived. We are not the favorites. No, we are not doing that. Now, why I agree with those seamen is also that, like I've always said, you remember when um, Inter Milan won against, Mourinho's Inter Milan won against Bayern in the Champions League final. They were very pragmatic. Very, very defensive. But they played very well also every time they had the ball. It was so... It was it was pragmatism at its finest. The the few chances they had or the few times they had the ball, they were they were impeccable with the passes, right? So if you say we've not played our best football, it could be what Osimen is speaking to. It doesn't mean one we will now abandon how we played against Cameroon mm-hmm. or how we played against Ivory yeah. No, it doesn't mean that we can still no, play. No, but it was way. saying should we should we no. shift to the next gear? I think that was that, that was what it was no saying. the next so, gear can still be so What's the what's the I mean so when you watch the Nigerian team now there's a bit of um there's a bit of interest in how the the tournament has de- evolved and when I watched them against Cameroon especially against Equatorial Guinea in the last game I felt like we we're beginning to do a, b- a bit more you know basic things pass the ball to the next man in the first two games I didn't find that we could you know mm. string passes together which might be the next gear you know that we need to get into um what's the most important thing going forward to win the games now. I find that the way we start the games since the the last game against Equatorial Guinea is the intensity is just there. The players come out and they show that they wanted more than the opposition. I thought against Ivory Coast, we showed that we wanted more than them. Um, against Cameroon, we, we roughed them up in the first couple of minutes and from then the momentum was with us till we finished the game. Um, against Angola, they're a small opposition, right? You know, quote and unquote, with all due respect to Angola. 
but we have to approach the game the same way. Yeah. We have to show that, yes, we know that you're probably not as good as we are, but we want it more than you do. And if we approach the game that same way, then the quality eventually will catch up to the desire. That's how I feel, you know, we need to approach the game to win the game. In my opinion, I think what you need to win now, your, your question is what you what you what yeah. you now need. What do you need to win the game? To win now. For me, I think it's mentality. I think I think every single one thing that you mentioned about first two games, was it, or the first game, it didn't feel like we were we could string passes together. We could just it didn't feel like that. But then against Cameroon, you you, you had players on the ball even with more confidence. Uh Semi Ajayi would take the ball and, and dribble out from the back. Now, I'm not saying against Angola, start dribbling out from the back. But I'm just saying when it when it, when when someone does that in a game that is high stake, high pressure, there's a, that means there's a bit of confidence with which that person is playing with, right? So I think from here on out is mentality. They, individually, we have quality. There's, there's quality in the team. Now, I think the mindset of being able to now show your quality, mm. not buckling under the pressure, because it's a lot of pressure now. You're in the quarterfinals. Nobody gave you guys any chance at the start of the tournament. You're playing Angola, who have been. I think if you, if you, the sample size is this tournament. The games that have been played. Angola have probably been even better than also as good as as good. I as feel we, they were involved in the best game of the tournament. Uh, of the tournament, right? So, you know, probably even the, the probably even the best goal of the tournament. <coughs> yeah. Or yep. Arguably. So, going forward, it has to be mentality. You know, somehow you have to find that that um, dog in you where I don't care the noise in the stadium, I don't care who we are facing. I go control this ball. We go pass her. Yeah, we go score. That mentality of even if we concede, because anything can happen from here yeah, on out. Yeah. So I think for me, it's mentality. Speaking yeah. of speaking of noise in the stadium, uh, the game is uh, played at the uh, Felix Bogni Stadium. Uh, uh, Felix Bogni, a uh, former um, Cameroonian president uh, uh, in Abidjan, but. You were just gonna say, and before before you get, I was gonna ask the follow up question, which is, what's Angola's biggest threat? You know, we knew what Cameroon could come with. You know, if they had a it could be very, it could be very powerful and and dominant in in the, in the final third. When I watch Angola play, I think that they enjoy high scoring game. Mm, you know, yeah. they, they enjoy. You know, you come at us, we come at you. So we we cannot make that game an open game, can we? Yeah, yeah, we we cannot do that, and but I think that's what they want. They they would play on the front foot, and and they've got they they have lots of threats from set pieces, you know, from corners, from free kicks in and around the box. You know, they've got relatively smaller players who who've got great leaps with them. You know, Jelson Dalla that Dalla is is one that has caught the eye and. Uh, the 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 that, that guy was his name Mabulu Mabulu the one with the one with the arm and inverted arms. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen that kind of goal in a long time. I saw it, and the first thing I said was Thierry Henry will be proud of that, and Thierry Henry did that many times. Yeah, but he will be proud of that feeling because. I mean, how do you score a goal like that? I mean, it is so disrespectful. <laughs> how do you score a goal like that? And he's got pace, and they've got pace. What they've done better in this tournament than than we have done is <laughs> in their transition play. You know, passes in you know from midfield to attack. You know, they play, you know I still find it difficult to understand why we struggle to make simple passes in the final third. You know, you know Olagle was talking about it in the la in, in building up to the last game that. You know, sometimes football football is a game of moments, you know, and, and we all agree to that. And what moment of getting the ball, getting your head up and passing to the next man or just having that intuition that somebody's in the right space and you pass the ball to Which, them. Which, for example, we saw in the last goal, uh, yeah. Lukman yeah, goal. Yeah, Lukman goal. We just have to find the level of composure, you yeah. know, because it might be a game of... You know, Angola have enjoyed, uh, you know, so many high scoring games, but it might be a game of few chances and you have to take them. Mm. We did that against Cameroon and that's why we won. You you have to find that level of quality and composure when yeah. you have those moments yeah. to, to be able to take advantage because not like I'm a, I'm a purveyor of, of bad news, but I think we'll concede. You know, we've, we've defended really well and I don't think we face, uh, you know, a really concerted, you know, it's a side who who play attacking who, who football. have a playbook of how to yeah. attack. Yeah, yeah. And relentless in trying yeah. to get goals. You know, yeah, so yeah. I fancy we'll concede. You know, but like Rufai said, you know, if we concede first, uh, I, it's not nothing to panic about because we have quality. We have mm. real quality in Osimen, in Lukman, players who, 
you know, if they get it right, they can be yeah. really devastating. Yeah. So I, f I feel like it's going to be that sort of game. But I agree with you. It cannot be an open game. If, we, if it's an open game, we'll lose it. Yeah, I tell you that for free. If, if it's an open game, we'll lose it. If there's anything we're sure of, it won't be yeah. an open game. Yeah, if it's an open <laughs> game, we'll lose it. Let's speak about the, 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 the lineups and what we expect to happen just before we get in the, the callers on, on the Zoom. And what is important for me is, you know, we've had a very consistent setup. That setup has allowed... You know the, the players to know oh this is how Calvin if Calvin goes in the 50 50 I can tell he's gonna win 70 percent of the time and I know big that big shout out to Calvin though you know, I think yeah, he's been been very brilliant it's been brilliant um Wabali the player we've uh, given lots of uh, drawn a lot of attention if you like is he is he available for the game uh, okay, no, we, 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 well, we the, hear he's back in the, training the, the team news um they said he's, he's training but Pesero is not doesn't think he's going to steal his maybe. You know, it's a knockout game. You can't you can't risk it. So I think going with a very fit to Zor ask a question might, might just be the better option. Ask a question, right? Um, Step forward, according Francis to what I had in Uzo. camp, anyways. According to what I had in camp. Ask a quick question. If you have a an eighty five percent fits Mwabali and a hundred percent fits Uzo or the other goalkeeper, who do you who do you put in goal? 100% I'll go, I'll, I'll go with Zor. I'll because, go with Zor. Because, because, <laughs> I think, because, I think, because the game, the game might, might go into penalties. Mm. And, and you would need, you know, saying that, you know, say, you know, say, <laughs> you know, say that, waiting the pain, uh, one ballet, now, now, the, yeah. no, 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 it's, 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 it's not, not, no, somebody, somebody it's, dropped into him. Yeah, in yeah, his, uh, uh, you know, big session. Because he landed on his knee. Yeah, because, and he bandaged the knee. Yeah. What I've read is, maybe not the two sides. The injury is not so bad, but, no, they, they, I, they, I've seen a clip. I've seen a vi I've seen a video where he's um was the rest of the team is training, but he is walking, just taking you know, just making yeah. But, but inside inside source said I it, think it will be fit. Will go, so you know if, if they are not sure about right. his fitness. Right. So all agree, Wabali. If he's not hundred percent fit, don't start him. Yeah. Right. If he's I not hundred percent fit, yeah. don't don't no, start him. Don't he's, start he's, him. Not, he's not worth the risk. There are no other injury problems, uh, according to what we've been told. Um. So we go. With, so we go with the same lineup. Pro pro probably make one change. I don't bring back Alasan to the team. I don't. Just I, just leave I, it that way. Probably no. make one change. Uh, Moses Simon for Kelechi Hannah. So I want Kele I want Kelechi Hannah in our team. I really want no, him no, in our no, team. No, he's, no, 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 no. Now, now, he's, this is he's, it. he's the senior man. First time I would disagree with you. First I, time. I feel he's the. You know, Lakme was making a point last time on, and Kelechi. I'm not his biggest fan. I've got to say, but he's got a calm head on him. He's got he's got a cool head on his shoulders. He's got in that. In those small pockets, you know, he's somebody that if he picks a ball, he can he can strike at goal, he can pick a pass, you know, in that and that's what we need. But has he got the intensity? And our no, game has intensity. Now, now. And, and credit to Moses Simon. I thought he does I mean Simon can easily be our right back. <laughs> and that's not being disrespectful because the way he he goes back, you know, tracks back and and in the modern game you 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 cannot have redundant wingers. You know, you, you cannot have wingers who are not who only, only want to do it one way. One way, yeah. You've got to be able to do the other way. And he was absolutely brilliant. Same with Lukman. You know, the you've got players who are willing to retreat when when we need bodies. And I think Becerra, I, I just feel like there's a magic with the Mihenechos left foot. He's got a wonder of a left foot. I I don't think he has progressed in the career trajectory that he should, but. I've always seen him like someone who's got a brilliant left foot. There was a time, you know, when he came into the Man City team where he had a brilliant start finishing, you know. So I'd have him I, in that I can, team. I can, I can, I can. Right. I was just going to say uh, before we, we, we have Frank Oyeka in, in the building. Um, Frank, uh, good morning and welcome to Niger Game on uh, with Goldberg. First of all, Frank, can you hear me? Great stuff. Uh, um, can we, can we get some volume? Frank, you have to do the ritual, the, the team ritual. I like the song. You know, why are you so, so worried? What's the, but I can't get the rest of the lyrics out. What's the song? Sing it. Is it, why are you so, so worried? I can't get the rest. Yeah. Why are you so, so worried? Tell them that you don't Yeah, oh, right. Okay, so it's okay, just a, okay. so just the it's a two line song. Yeah. Why are you so so no, no, worried? Like you okay. That's that that makes sense. That makes sense. I like it very much, Frank. Um, thanks for coming on the pod this morning. Um, real pleasure to see you. 
and um, i know it's such a difficult time in terms of the scheduling you have to sleep recover eat the right thing and and whatnot but um while we try to get frank's uh, a video back we, we've got frank back but um frank tell us about frank you look you don't look like you've been playing football you look like you know if i didn't know you like you've been running in midfield and breaking things up I feel yeah, like you know you're a model. You get it. You look <laughs> like you just they chop life for every coach. You guys need GQ or GQ shoot. And then they chop life for now walk with it. No, no, we didn't see him. You know, we don't, you don't need to tell us. <laughs> you didn't show for your body every day. Day. You know, but Frank, it feels like you're having a great time in this tournament. And I sense that you are one of the players that picked up the moment the team picked up. You started to show what you're made of. And that is key for that midfield. We feel like you've been one of the most important players in the midfield because there is literally not a player that can do what you can do. How's that been in the team going forward? Uh, I mean, uh, it's been good so far, like you said. Uh, uh, firstly, um, thank you for um, for the for the good uh, good talk. Uh, but no, uh, it's been good. Um, I try to do my job, try to help the team as much as I can. And uh, so I guess uh, it's working well so far. So I'm really, really glad. Frank, is there a is there a, a real team bonding in that in that dressing room where I get the sense that after the World Cup failure we couldn't qualify there was a bit of um I'm obviously I'm looking from outside in it just felt like the everybody was uh, individuals but I just feel like in this last one month two months there about there's been a real coming together you know I feel the sense of brotherhood when I see you guys singing the songs you know why you so so worry it feels like you're not you're not play you're not cosplaying you're actually brothers in in the team yeah i know a lot of people have been complaining about the uh the uh our previous games we haven't been winning games you know and uh so but right now we just you know come together we know what's at stake we know this is a tournament we want to bring it back home we want to like um, show nigerians uh, what we are made of uh so i guess everyone came together you know the fighting spirit the bonding in the team uh it's uh, it's good. So that's why we uh, we try to you know uh, do everything uh, on the pitch to make sure that uh, uh, we we win the games and uh, we hopefully we bring it back home. Uh, Frank, a quick one, I beg. When when this song we when I did sing, so like in the dressing room after that win, you guys singing in the dressing room. How do you guys bring? The how do you guys bring the the um the foreign boys? Yeah, when I go first teach them the <laughs> lyrics before the singing go start. Have you, have you, no. no, they don't know the song. They, they, this is not be today. We start they play the song. Oh. The plans. Even for oh. friendly games, uh, yeah, 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 don't yeah. don't 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 this. That makes sense. Frank, how fun are you doing now? Uh, oh, I, do. I, I guess is that I guess is about that, that that place hot die now true. No, the place also. The weather, the too. You know, uh, if if they play, how you they see them? Say they they get the weather they affect you. I know say you be Niger boy, you be a baby boy. We play on that hot song for two for two p.m. You know all those kind. <laughs> you know all those kind of NNL game. All those, NNL, all those scouting game where you go play two two p.m. I know say you they used to them, so I know it's surprised. But you know these northern teams and say this thing affect them. These North African teams. You feel say the weather affect them. I don't be like, but uh, the team say when we play two pm for the first game, really affect, really affect everybody because that's not the first game and when you play uh, two pm under that sun, nah, thing, thing really affects. But five pm, eight pm game day, it day okay because the weather don't calm small. Your boots they hot, your boots they hot when they play, your boots they hot. <laughs> no, no, not for two pm they hot, and it's not be as <laughs> though. Trying to wear your leg with the ball for one <laughs> My guy, uh, I believe you. I believe okay, you. Okay, um, Frank, um, brilliant performance against Cameroon, and I have to say because I was I was worried with with that Cameroon midfield how we're going to do with uh, Zombo and Giza because when he's on his game, he's, he's a smooth operator. And uh, did did Osimhen tell you one or two things about him? You know how you know he could be a danger to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Osimhen told me that, you know, he likes to play these um, short, short passes, try to connect. He doesn't play long. So when he gets the ball, I try to close him more as much as possible, even uh, Alex. Uh, because we know that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't turn, he doesn't play long passes. He only, you know, try to connect uh, uh, with the strikers, you know, short passes. So we try to, you know, close him as much as possible. 
uh frank remember when last time you were on the pod you you told us oh when when you're uh, you, you're with your club side and you go play these big boys when i get the way when they play these people with how Pesera has played you know so far does it does it give you that uh resemblance of oh you are in natural you are in a natural habitat because it's similar to how you know you would play in your at your club side with some of the big boys in the premier league it, does it give you that similar feeling that oh it's easier for me to play in this special setup uh yeah, i play a different role when i play uh in uh brentford i play a different role why here yeah, i'm playing a, um also a different role because in my club I play it's more like an advanced eight and uh why uh, in the uh, in the team right now I play uh more as a number six as a holding so yeah. it's a different role. again i try to do uh everything i can to to help my team i think the last time i played more as a Odin since was like three years ago so it's been it's been a while um but yeah. again like, uh, i'm happy pezero trust me to do to, to 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 do the job for him so i'll do everything i can to you know to to help the team frank just gonna ask you if a, a final question um, before we let you go, you have to you have to get into training and all that stuff. Why do you wear a bandaid on your left arm or your right uh, your right wrist? Is that a you know? I know Ronaldo they do swag at that time. You know, use tape you, that swag. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, on the left on the left wrist. Uh, I was playing. Uh, I can't remember. I think like a year or two years ago, I fell down on the on the wrist, so it's hot uh, when I when I play or when I try to drag. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> These are old shit. <laughs> Bad guy. <laughs> yes, hey, hey, Frank. So now you are playing different position in uh, for the Spikes of Nigeria. So going back to Brentford and your coach tells you, okay, I think we've seen where we think you can you can help us. We 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 accept a new role at Brentford. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the coach sees me as a, as a, as an eight. He said he prefers me playing as an eight because I I break balls a lot. I'm a good pressing uh, player, uh, so I I can also attack uh, well. So I don't know. Uh, maybe when I go back, it tells me, oh, okay, I've seen you playing the Afcon. Maybe I should uh, switch you back into uh, back to number six. So I don't know, but I guess it sees me more as a as an advanced eight, so let's see what happens. Frank, I want to thank you so much for your time. Uh, thanks for taking out the very um, tight schedule to speak to us uh, here on Niger Game On. We totally appreciate it. Um, Goldberg, of course, is your official uh, beer partner, but don't drink, uh, you know, while the tournament is on, right? <laughs> don't drink um, while playing. Frank, we totally enjoy, we, we enjoy watching you, and um, when we give you the props on the show, we don't give you the props because um, you are a friend. We give you the props because the performances deserve yeah. it and you're you're playing really well. Yeah. So before we before we go, let's uh, all sing that song. You know, why are you so so, so worried? <laughs> why are you so <laughs> so worried? I'm gonna let you down. Frank, have a great time, man. Yeah, I want to say uh, thank you guys so much for for the support for um, for everything. I've been seeing the you know uh, how you guys have supported me so far. Um, when you were in Brentford and uh, now so in the national team. Thank you so much. It means a lot. No, 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 no grief bro. for anybody. No worries. Yeah, no no grief worries. Anybody. Anybody. Yeah, yeah, no grill. 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 No Abidjan, great stuff, Frank. Yeah, uh, take him away. Uh, Ini, when you speak, to, when you listen to him speak, one thing I, I find him is that he understands the game. Mm. You know, you speak to many players, and you, they, they don't, you don't get the sense that they are fully immersed in it. Mm. But when you hear him analyze the roles, you know, he remembers just exactly when he played, you know, yeah. as, a, as a holder, you know, and what the coach expects from him. That's that, that that's importance in the team. And I spoke about him in the last episode of the podcast that. I don't think there's a player who could do what he does in that team. Mm. And yes, we saw Hassan in the first game, you know, give him some some support. But mm. ultimately, his timing, that's the important thing for him, his timing. I'm just going to read over the turnovers. Nigeria has one of the highest turnovers, you know, you know, in the final third. 
and, and he's been and, largely and he's responsible. Been, he's been responsible for that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but see, he's you know, I, I said after after the last game that it's always important when you find a player who understands it, brief and just sticks to it. You know, some players want to be man of the match. I think he's not one of them. He's one of those guys who. I know my role. I know what the coach has asked me to do, and I'm going to stick stick to it. And he was breaking up play. You know, he was he will break up play. And against Cameroon, we saw him show a bit of adventure. You know, taking the ball, driving through the heart of of the Cameroon midfield, and he was absolutely brilliant. He, yeah. One of his better performances in the Super Eagles, and 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 that's his job. You know, going up against Cameroon against uh, Angola, you you want to think that. He's one of those players. If if he has a better game, we, we we stand a real chance in winning because you look at those Angolan players; they're very rapid, you know, in yeah. that movement, very fast. You want somebody to close them down. You want somebody not to allow them to time on the ball because they like to play in f fine football. They like yeah. to keep the ball on the ground. And if you have the tank in that midfield, you know, closing people down, you know, snapping at people's heels, that there's a chance we we go on and do something. And you talk about the turnover and people underestimate the importance of turnover in games because it can literally change the course of a football match because if you're winning balls of players in really good position that you can transition into attacking uh, play, it feels like you you get a chance of creating one or two, three chances. So, great showing from Frank so far and hope that it continues. Well, Nigeria has uh, 18 turnovers. Uh, actually, the highest turnover team uh, is Egypt with 36 turnovers. So, uh, tells you about uh, Nigeria's <laughs> pressing sequence. As far as pressing sequence goes, we've had... Um, 49 you know pressing sequence mm -hmm. and the only yeah. team that's better at yeah. us is egypt with uh 51 and you know that doesn't take away from our build-up play because our build-up play we've got seven you know accurate build-ups uh, to egypt's uh, nine and of course uh build-up goals um you know it's pretty interesting as well so great stuff as far as that let's speak to dagba who's uh calling on the show this morning dagba um look when you watch the tournament all the way from Oman, it doesn't quite feel the same way as <laughs> this guy goes to sue you. As also watching from Africa. <laughs> no, but um, just kidding. Good to see you. You got the prediction correctly that Ivory Coast were gonna knock out Senegal, and I think you also got it for Morocco as well. You and Ini share the same heritage, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <clears throat> morning, guys. Um, it's a pleasure to be here again. You know, while no, confirm to us where you are first. Have you moved location? <laughs> you missed up. I've always told you I'm in a Republic of Ireland. Right, right. <laughs> One and final time, I get it now. <laughs> are they people in Oman? <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. A lot of people have a lot of oil money as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't mind me. <laughs> I've always said it that um for Senegal, like um they picked too early. That's what I'll say. They picked too early. In cup competitions, when you start all guns blazing it, be, it makes you it makes you question okay can you maintain this momentum throughout the competition and if you see that game immediately senegal scored they withdraw back they were not as attacking as they would they wanted to try and keep the lead catch code on the counter attack and could honestly i feel like they just um, they put Senegal in a place where they shouldn't be because Cote d'Ivoire had already disappointed their country. So they were coming from an angle of, we don't have anything to lose. Let us go all out. Don't let us disappoint our people again. And unfortunately, they got knocked out, which uh, which was what happened to Nigeria in the last half con. Yeah. We yeah. started so well, so well, playing beautiful football. And um, in the round of 16, one goal, we got knocked out. I said in Morocco, I feel they have not act African football. Playing the other countries, playing as an underdog, sitting at the back, trying to catch teams on the counter, is different from where you're a big country, big footballing country in Afcon. You want to play on the front foot, you want to try and get the goals. And so there was no sitting back for Morocco. They wanted right. To, right. To, to go all out for it. And they were caught napping a couple of times mm -hmm. and they were punished. Right. Give us a prediction for Nigeria's game and you know, in any things we don't keep a clean sheet there. We've kept the last uh, you know two clean sheets on the bounce or three actually. Um, do you think we concede a goal and do you think we, we, we win? Oh that game is going to be tough. But I've liked the look of the team so far because the team transitions from a three four three to a four five one and defensively we have been very solid. You can see that there's a strong chemistry between the boys when Olaino is trying to 
become a winger and when he tries to defend, you can see Ajayi telling him, oh, that man is moving, pick your man. So we have been developed seemingly very, very solid and compact. So I feel that we'll probably just get a slim win again. It's going to be a very, very tough game. It's good. But I believe that the boys are very hungry for this and so with what they have seen, they'll be very, very cautious. And I feel like a 1-0 win will do the job. Mm. So I uh, oppose as opposed to you, know, you think we'll keep a clean sheet. Gentlemen, uh give us a prediction. Dagba, thank you so much, right? And um I like your always wanting to call in on the show uh very early, um, even despite the incredible recording times. Uh hope the weather is not too cold for you because I see you're wearing a double shirt, something like that. Uh, you know, at night it gets quite a bit cold, so you have to keep yourself warm and all of that stuff. Yeah. I heard there was a storm called uh, Jocelyn. Did that get to you? Yeah, I I saw the we saw the notification from because the Mets weather, like the guys in charge of the weather in the country usually send notification, but I did not see anything like that. I was inside my yeah, <laughs> good stuff. These men cannot release their look out. <laughs> look out, people. Nobody send anything. They, they play. Anyway, for uh, me, uh, you know the kind of flood where they have for wearing night, for. You don't say that. You forget shirts for outside where you where you spread down. <laughs> nobody go there. Is he really go for for night? I know, man. Fee, uh, thank you so much. Um, always a pleasure. <laughs> Enjoy the game, day. and we'll catch you after um, the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Great, great stuff. Great stuff, gentlemen. Let's leave our predictions and you know drop the anchor here. Where do you think this game goes? One nil, two nil, clean sheet. Um, clean sheet, 2 nil. Clean sheet, 2 nil for Charlie. Nigeria, right? Yeah, for Nigeria, yeah. Simon, any time goal scorer? No. <laughs> Wait, yeah, you don't lose faith. I'll, I'll, no, leave, no, I'll no, leave in no. it. I think Simon will get, he might, he might not get on the score sheet. Drum roll, please. I'll have him, you have the last Senior man. He deserves it, but you go, you go first. Nah, I, I think, I think, uh, I think 3-1 Nigeria. 3-1 Nigeria. Yeah. 2-1 Nigeria. 2-1 Nigeria. Nigeria. Nobody has a Simon to score a goal? I think Osimhen. No, no, no. I, 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 I still believe. Anytime goal score. score. Every game Osimhen plays, I put him any guy. Anytime, anytime goal score, score. to score. Right. I, I, I don't think you will be your right senses to yeah. bet to see. Well, I, to I, see I think it's, this time a defender will score. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and a midfielder. Right. No. <laughs> how many? No, how many? Nah. How many positions did he take? <laughs> nah, person <laughs> waiting for bench goal score. Nah, no sense. He said a defender, and midfielder. Are you like any of Can you imagine this guy? He wants come on. Bye bye. If you want predict, you want talk talk. Anyway, I think um, Franco Nika scores a goal. Wow. Yeah, I do think he scores a goal. Right? And I'm still blind yeah. from 40. <laughs> if Bezer- yeah. be great. If Bezerro catch Frank for Frank, <laughs> <laughs> they, they play. <laughs> they they instruct right. person like that, is it? All right, don't cross his line. Jo- jo- right. jo- just to quickly add, uh, uh, any, any, any was saying, bring bring Ihena <laughs> Chop back into, into the team for Moses Simon, right? Yeah. If, 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 Pesero was ever going to do that. Could this be a solution? <laughs> if you're not sure comes into, into the team for Moses Simon, do you then play do you then play Frank and Alassane? Alassane. Nah, you don't need to move too many things. I don't like him. I, 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 don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't need to move too many things. Pesero's tactics is off the bomb. Baggy and Sons don't need too much. I don't need too much. I don't like it. You're not going to get off the bomb movement. Especially when when you need to... I yeah. don't know, like a mark. Yeah, yeah. Then I turn off you don't. You, you need to be very alert. Enough you don't. But um, look, gentlemen, I thank you so much indeed. Um, for all the guys who are watching, thank you so much. We've got to <laughs> drop the anchor here. I continue to use the hashtag Niger Game One for all the conversations on Twitter, TikTok, uh, Facebook, and Instagram as well. We totally appreciate it. And of course, uh, we hope that the team win because this journey gets even better as the tournament progresses. Gentlemen, I want to thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. For making it down, IBK. Always appreciate it. Uh, you know, on Monday, uh, who's made the podcast today? And of course, uh, luckily. Five. My name is Yubi. <laughs> we didn't, re- <laughs> 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 didn't receive it for you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, do one of it. We'll see you very soon. And good luck to the boys. Bye bye. Yep. Our love for the game <laughs> runs deep. Hey, hey, you were the Let's go. From the banter master. <laughs> to the Oversabi Gucci's. <laughs> and to all fans who make the game unforgettable. <laughs> game on! <laughs> Enjoy the rhythm of the game with Goldberg, official beer of the Super Eagles.